Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your local repository to an external repository. The first thing we have to do to connect it to a remote repository is to actually have a remote repository to connect to. There are various options such as GitHub, but in this instance, we are going to be using Bitbucket. So head over to bitbucket.org and log in. If you don't have an account, just create one and log in. This is my Bitbucket account and it shows the last 10 repositories that I've worked on. If you want to see all your repositories, you can just click on view all repositories. We are here to create a new repository. So on the left side, just click on the plus sign and then select repository and then it will give us the dialog to create a new repository. On the repository name, I usually just like to give it the name of the project. In our instance, it's version control demo. The next option is the access level. Is this a private repository or a public repository? I'm gonna leave it as private because it's just gonna be me making changes to it. The next option is, am I going to include a readme file? In this example, we are not going to include a readme file. Look for my next video which shows you how you can add a readme file to a Bitbucket repository. And then it's going to ask you the version control system. Is it Git or Mercurial? Remember our version control is Git, so we have to select Git if it is not already selected. If you click on the advanced settings, it will give you a further drop down of options. The first one is description. This is where you write the description of the repository. So I'm going to write this is the repository for the version control demo app. Bad spelling there. Also, I've noticed that I didn't put demo on the repository name, so I'm just going to edit there. The next option is forking. Allow only private forks. I'm going to leave it as default. And then project management, issue tracking, a wiki. I'm going to leave it as default as well. And then it's ask you the language. We know we're just using Java, so we can select Java from the languages. And then it asks for integrations. We are not going to enable HipChat notifications, so we leave it like that. And then we just click on create repository to create it. There, it's done. We have just created our external or remote repo. If you take a look at the left side, you can see the name of the repo. And then on the right side, there is a bit of information to help you quickly set it up. So what we want to do is to select the path to the repo and go back to IntelliJ and connect it. So I'm just going to select from the point after clone and then copy it. Go back to IntelliJ. Once back in IntelliJ, go to VCS on the Tools menu, Git, and then select Remotes. As you can see, we don't have any remotes. So what we have to do is just click on the plus sign to create a remote. So the default one is Origin, that is fine, but if you have more than one remote, then you need to give them names. And then on the URL, we paste the one that we copied and then click on OK and then it checks the URL if the URL is fine it puts it there so you can extend it to see if everything is fine so it's checked that the name is origin and then that is the path to our Bitbucket repository if you are happy with everything we click on OK at this point I've just connected my local repo to my external repo that is Bitbucket but I haven't pushed anything to it so if we were to go back to Bitbucket, you see it will just have the default page. Even if I refresh, I still have the default page because there is nothing new there. To push, go back to IntelliJ, VCS, and then Git, and then Git push. It will show you the list of commits that have not been pushed to the remote repo. As you can see, my initial commit has not been pushed to the remote repo. 
And if you select there, you see the files that are pertaining to this initial commit. To push the commits, I simply have to click on the push button here. And then if you look at the bottom, it shows you that it's pushing. When it's done, it gives you this confirmation that push was successful and then it pushed master to new branch origin master on the remote repo. If we go back to Bitbucket and refresh, we now no longer get the default page. We now have our version control with our commit. So as you can see, I committed this 35 minutes ago and it's been put here right now. The message was initial commit for my two files. So if I navigate here, I can navigate to my main Java and I can see contents of my main Java. This content in the remote repository is the same as the content that I can see in IntelliJ, which is on my local repository. So therefore, at this point, the local repository is connected to the remote repository and my commit that I did on my local machine has been pushed to the external repository. From this point, the workflow is that we're gonna make changes to our file or add new files, commit, and then push to the remote repository. Let's just do an example. I'm just gonna print hello world to the screen. So I've made modifications to the file. If I save and then go back to local changes, you can see that this file has been added. So I can select it, right click and commit. But now if you come back to the commit changes, it asks me for the commit message as per usual. So I'm gonna say edit print out Hello world. And then if you go back to the bottom, there's commit. But if you click the drop down because we've connected to the external repository, there's now the option for committing and pushing. So to commit to the local repository and then push to the remote repository. This is what I'm going to select. And also before you do that, you can see here on the left side, the original code. And then on the right side, the changed code. So just click on commit and push. And then it to ask you for the push commits and then you confirm the commit that you want basing on the commit message. And this is, I just made changes to the main.java file. So that's correct. I'm just gonna then click on push. You see the confirmation for the commit added print out to hello world. And then we're gonna see the confirmation for the push. If we go back to Bitbucket, we should see this new commit as well. So we just have to refresh. And it's still at this page. So we just wanna go back to the home page of the repository. And then you can see a minute ago, I added the new commit, added print out hello world. So therefore, it shows you that we've successfully linked our local repository to the external repeat packet repository. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.